Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at why it's illegal to be named BRFXXCCXX, MNPCC, CCLLLMMN, PRXVCL, MNCKSSQ, LB11116. Now, you may be wondering why it's illegal to be named that name. Well, believe it or not, there are some names which are banned throughout the world. And that's exactly what we're going to be looking at in this video. You won't believe what some parents actually tried to name their kids. But before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. So coming up first, we have BRFXXCCXX, MNPCC, CCLLLMMN, PRXVCL, MNCKSSQ, LB11116. I'm sorry you guys had to sit through me saying that whole name out. But don't worry, I won't be saying it again. So where in the world is it illegal to call your kid that name? Well, the country which has banned this name is Sweden. Sweden actually has very strict laws when it comes to naming your kids. That all dates back to a 1982 law passed to prevent non-noble families giving their kids noble names. The law had various different aspects to it. And one of these aspects says that names shall not be approved if they cause offence. Another reason for not getting a name approved is if it causes discomfort to one trying to use it. Or if someone's called their kid a name which is obviously not suitable as a first name. Now, because this law was all about non-noble families giving their kids noble names, some said this was very elitist. It seemed like Sweden's elite didn't want their kids having the same names as regular kids. So in protest, one couple named their kid that name. Now, they said that's only how they wanted the name written out. The name was actually going to be pronounced Albin, which is a pretty normal name in Sweden. So in response, the Swedish government not only didn't allow their kid to be called this, but they banned the name. Then their parents responded by trying to call that same kid A. Again, they said it would be pronounced Albin, but they wanted the name Albin written as the letter A. But their protest didn't work as the Swedish government also blocked this name and banned it too. So if you live in Sweden, don't try calling your kid that name or the letter A. Next up is Nutella. I'm sure we all know the very popular chocolate hazelnut spread Nutella. It's from Italy, but it's super popular in many countries. But it's undisputed that the most popular country for Nutella is France. It seems the French cannot get enough of Nutella, and supermarkets in France are even known to have riots when Nutella is on special offer. Well, in 2015, one French couple loved Nutella so much, they wanted to name their daughter after it. That's right, they actually wanted to call their daughter Nutella. They said they hoped she could be as sweet as the delicious chocolate spread. But one judge clearly was not a fan. The judge insisted that the name would lead to mockery of the child. In France, parents used to have to pick from a long list of approved names. But since 1993, that law was abolished. Parents can now name their kids whatever they like, but not Nutella. That name was banned by a French judge as it would lead to mockery. The parents then came to a compromise and named their kid Ella. I'm not sure if around their house they call their kid Nutella, but legally she's called Ella. To be honest, I think this is best. I like Nutella, but I wouldn't want to be called it. Next up, we have Tallulah Does the Hula from Hawaii. You may be asking, Charlie, is that a real name or are you just going crazy? Well, no, that is actually a real life name. But is the name great or terrible? In New Zealand in 2008, somebody tried to name their nine-year-old daughter Tallulah Does the Hula from Hawaii. That's right, they weren't even from Hawaii, but New Zealand. Now, not only did the judge ban this name, they also took the kid away from the parents. They said this was a form of abuse, and they took the kid away. But do you guys think Tallulah Does the Hula from Hawaii is a great name or abuse? Coming up next is Chief Maximus. Now, this name really does sound like a movie character. Well, this is yet another parent from New Zealand who tried to call their kid something very interesting. But it seems the judge was less enthusiastic. The judge didn't want this kid to grow up sounding like some kind of hero soldier from a movie. So that's why he ordered Chief Maximus to be renamed to just Maximus. And luckily for the parents, in this case, it didn't lead to their kid being taken away by the government. Coming up next is Robocop. If you thought the previous name on this list sounded like a movie character, this one actually is a movie character. That's right, a couple from Mexico actually wanted to call their kid Robocop after the movies. They loved the movies so much, they actually wanted their kid to be named Robocop. 
So in response, the Mexican government banned it. This happened in Sonora, Mexico, which borders Arizona, USA. The government there realized this was a problem after the name Robocop had to be banned. So that's why the state made a list of 61 banned names. Names on this list include US Navy, Burger King, Rambo, and Terminator. So if you're a big fan of movies and naming your kids after them, then don't go to Mexico. Coming up next is at. We all know the at symbol found in every email address. Well, it seems one Chinese couple found email addresses so catchy they tried to name their kid at. And I don't mean spelt A-T, they actually wanted it written out as the at symbol. The couple wanted it to be pronounced atai. In Chinese, this sounds similar to a phrase meaning love him. They felt this was a very loving and nice name for their son, but the Chinese government did not agree. In response, they banned the name at. But not only that, they went ahead and banned every symbol and number in a name. They said they would have done this before, but no one tried to call their kid a number or symbol before. Next up is Sarah. You may think, why on earth would you want to ban the name Sarah? It's a very common name, and I'm sure some people watching this video are called Sarah. Well, one day in Morocco, some parents wanted to call their daughter Sarah. But Morocco has a law saying all names must be in line with Moroccan identity. They banned the name Sarah with an H because it's the Hebrew spelling. However, they did let the parents call their kid Sarah without the H. That's right, in Morocco you can be called Sarah, but not Sarah. That's because Sarah spelled S-A-R-A -A is the Arabic spelling, which is fine. It's kind of crazy how one letter can make a name be banned. But I guess that's how they do it in Morocco. Next up is Full Stop. Depending on where you're from in the world, you may know this as a full stop or period mark. Well, in New Zealand, one parent tried to name their kid Full Stop. I'm not sure what it is with New Zealand parents and naming their kids weird stuff, but because this happened, it had to be added to New Zealand's list of banned names. This happened in 2013. The parents said they wanted their kid's name to be written as the period symbol, but they said they would have it pronounced full stop. Clearly, the New Zealand government were less than enthusiastic, so they banned the name entirely. Next up is Harriet. Harriet is another name where you would think, does that really need to be banned? Well, in Iceland, Harriet is actually a banned name. You see, two Icelandic parents got a surprise when they realized their daughter's name was banned. Iceland have an approved list of names that parents can give their kids. But if you want to go off that list, you can pay a fee and apply for government approval. However, the name must only include the letters of the Icelandic alphabet. Well, the name Harriet does not have the letters of the Icelandic alphabet. So that's why it had to be banned. Not only that, her brother Duncan also had a banned name. That's because there's no letter C in the Icelandic alphabet. Now, the parents refused to change their kids' names. And because of this, they were unable to get their kids' passports. So now Harriet and Duncan don't have their names on their passports. Instead, their passports simply say girl and boy. Next up, we have Metallica. I'm sure many people love the heavy metal band Metallica. That was the case for a couple of parents in Sweden. They actually did succeed in baptizing their kid under the name Metallica. But eventually Swedish officials found out and they banned the name. I'm not sure what they had to change their kid's name to, but the name is no longer allowed in Sweden. And finally on the list of banned names from around the world, we have Linda. So you may think, what could possibly be wrong with the name Linda? It's a very common name, especially in the Western world. Well, that's exactly why it was banned. You see, in 2014, Saudi Arabia released a list of banned baby names. And one of them was Linda. That's because it's so popular in the West. And Saudi Arabia said they didn't want Western ideologies coming over to their country. I'm not exactly sure how the name Linda could change their ideology so much. But Saudi Arabia was very fearful of this, so they had to ban the name. Be sure to check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for the funniest band name on this list. For me, I think it's the long name I'll give you the pleasure of not repeating. If you guys want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that coming up on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.